the dollar on there now they're talking five dollars and the water is not good in our town we're working something. on it yes i hear that you they're working on it but is there something else that you guys have discussed this is my first meeting well about the only other item i would do is send out a separate bill and that's costly the the, the fee would remain the same no matter what whether it would attach yeah. to your uh water bill or whether we sent you a bill just right i understand that but uh you can't just hire somebody does it have to be something that has to do with a fee well, what do you mean by we have, in order to hire someone yeah, we have, can we we have, we? have the money to hire someone as far as well as i don't think the water part would be a good one well no it has nothing to do with your i know it doesn't have anything to do with the water that's going on that bill though that's just my personal you'd rather receive a, just a, a, a $5 I'd rather bill have some more talk about how to hire someone but not on how do you pay for the fees for our placement now how do you pay for them does it come from our taxes Your taxes okay should this be a vote for the people of the town if this needs to be done that's what I'm asking going to be a vote to the people well, I guess what we could do maybe put out a levy, a bond, and... Is that a vote for the people? I don't quite understand. Yeah. Is it a vote that we could vote on? No. Because I do agree, we need... There's a lot of activity in our town. Drug activity, theft, stuff like that. I do agree, we need another police officer at night. I can't believe we don't have one in the first place. So I think it still needs to be a vote of the people not just something automatically goes on something without people knowing. Look how many people are here. How many knew about this? I just found out. Sorry. <laughs> well, we did, we did put it all over town. We put it on like the announcements. We've had a survey up for, what, three months now mm -hmm. that you can take on our website. So we have- you go on your website, it's not there. Wait, just your name, the same. No. Right. It's not there. We, it, okay, where's our it is. It's at the very, very top of the website. It says monkey um, survey. Excuse me, though. I went to town of Lakeview to look for this, and I see town of Lakeview has got like 2015 of the past. Um, 2015 was the last somebody had put into this. We've got so what is it under the surveys through that website? That okay, what, what's the name of the website? It's under Town of Lakeview. Okay. It's on our website, but it's at the very, very top of the page. When I first went in okay. to look, I didn't see it either until I went in. But it's at the very top in very small fine print, which uh -huh. maybe it does make it hard. And okay. I just that. But it is there. What's the name of it? It's Monkey Survey or something okay. like that. <laughs> it's monkey sur survey? survey Monkey. Survey okay. monkey is what it says. Okay. That would be hard for me to understand. <laughs> As a citizen. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. We have that. We have it's, that a search in, it's an engine that just handles it for okay. you, so you don't have to do the compilation and everything there. But yeah, a lot of different businesses and corporations and little towns 
use it for their surveys okay. because it's all yeah, set up for them. Like but it is a silly name to put on it if you want three people to take you seriously. Okay. We have had discussions in our previous council meetings in regards to the public safety fee and mm -hmm. and have, there have been those who have joined in in our in our meetings. And so Okay, I don't see very many people here. Okay. Hey, we're thrilled to have four of you. <laughs> uh, Craig Manu, I'm not currently a resident of what, the town of Lakeview. I live in Lake County. But I just wanted to point out there's some confusion here in your draft. It speaks to $15 a month. It does. And you know, this one speaks to $5 a month. There's Okay, so yeah. there's a disparity there. So if, right. if people are talking about five dollars and it's actually fifteen, or maybe ten, or maybe ten. Yeah, yeah. and that was just a draft that our attorney gave us, and he put the fifteen because there had been discussions between okay. five and fifteen. So that is why he put that. In. And at my previous residence, they did something like that, like this here, but it was to cover ambulance service because the nearest trauma care was 30 miles away and initially there was a lot of uh, outcry but after that people just realized that hey anytime i need it i can make a phone call and somebody will show up well i think this will be about the same thing that make a phone call a policeman will show up at two in the morning so, and that's thanks. important so uh, people include all of us there and all you and the rest of the people in the town which it's been a long time since when we have been able to afford to have that with the town. So right. I, I have to tell you that I, when we first did this, I said, we can't do this to the water because uh, we're already in kind of a state with the water and there are some issues and if you want me to pay extra money, can we use it to at least do the water? But we have things in, in order going for that. What it is is the simplest way to collect the fees without costing us more than the fees are bringing in. So that through the water, because it's already being mailed out, it's already taken care of, we just add this other figure. It's a matter of convenience more than anything. I was just and wondering. saving money. And as far as bookkeeping, that money is you know, not put into the utilities or water department uh, budget, it's into a separate budget. And, and our taxes to just, the police department don't allow us to do what we need to do for public safety. We, uh, we're we not getting the big money from the movie pipeline. We're not getting anything in, in Maine. I don't know, it would take us forever to get the money from um, Red Rock when they're coming in. So we really don't have other tax revenue unless we want to see if we can add something to the next uh, election thing and that again becomes very expensive so we're just trying to make it easy for ourselves <laughs> I understand <laughs> that I just yeah. would like it to be a vote of the people and I wish there was other avenues that we could because we do need a police officer at night I've seen it in our neighborhoods nobody will show up you know if you call that late it you got to get them out of the bed. There's, no, there's nobody on duty. Is that recently or has it been? That was two years ago. Okay. It took somebody to come in our neighborhood because there was somebody out and about. Yeah. So I just, my feelings is vote for the, you know, I think the people should vote on or if there's other avenues. But. I don't know. I have no idea what other avenues, because I mean, we've thought. And this is, I've been on the town council for yeah. a number of years, and we've kind of battled this for a very long time, and, and this is really probably the only thing that's actually come forward to be a viable resource for us to get that extra police officer. And what is the fee again? Well, we're, Still the discussion is, it's not, we haven't decided yet, but I guess I think it would, not be more than I in my thinking not more than ten dollars but so we I'm sorry so it's not a for sure how much yet right, right. so it yeah. could be more yes well it depends too because we're looking at three different departments within the town our 911 fund does not have the funding to pay for our employees 
Mm -hmm. And the other one is the fire department. Do we need better service? And that's what this survey really kind of went into, was it, whether it was better fire, whether police, you know, or whether 911 mm -hmm. dispatch, mm -hmm. you know. Because right now our 911 funds are not meeting what is, you know, the resources are not meeting the expenditures. So how do you come up with that money? And I, I've done research, uh, I've worked in other towns that this was implemented, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, $5 a month on our users right now that are in town would be about $65,000 a year that would go mm -hmm. into the police department. And then if we added another two fifty dollars for, let's say, dispatch or fire or both, you know, so mm -hmm. a total of 10 you know, you uh, divide it up into those departments. And the, one of the main reasons to put it as an assessment on your utility bill, right now it costs us an average of $1,600 a month to send out our utility bills. Mm -hmm. So if we send out a separate bill, then that's $3,200. So the, thir you know, the extra 16 is not getting us to where we need to be on the revenue side for uh, another officer or better uh, dispatch personal or additional. Right. So, so will there be another article in the newspaper about this meeting mm -hmm. and are you going to have set fees like this is the fee we're thinking and maybe the three different you said 911 mm -hmm. and fire and police because I didn't see nothing in the paper for the last couple of times. Does anybody know if it was in the paper the last couple of times? About this, or yeah, it was in there. Yeah. As far as I haven't yeah. seen anything. Yeah. If it was in so. there, it was probably under like a summary of the town council meeting minutes. Okay. And you can also uh, watch them online. They're videotaped yeah. so. under the monkey. No, the monkey we have is taking the videos. <laughs> yes. You can do it on the Lake County Examiner website, or um, it's, it's on Facebook too, isn't it? The website. I would just like more people to know about what this. Oh, is we entailing. would like more people to know too. But I, we post things. We send them out with the with the water bills. We put it in the paper. Okay. We have meaning things that are on our our boards. It, it goes on, on Facebook. It goes on the it's, chamber It's thing. been on the radio for the last week. It's, day, yeah, it's been on the radio. Times, so. yeah. I don't know what you have to do unless you go door to door and slap somebody upside the head and hand it to them. I don't even know that that would work. It's very difficult to get people. Now, let's put it this way, though. If we were to in say, let's go for the 15, mm -hmm. put it in effect, Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that next time after those bills came out, we would have a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. I agree with you. So yeah. uh, maybe, maybe we should try again in our monthly bills to get a response. Yeah. But I, we've already tried a couple times. So well, and, and one of the things I just as an example, you know, when we had the really dark water last year, mm -hmm. we had numerous complaints about the water quality. And we had a public meeting so people could come and comment on it. Nobody came to comment on it, or maybe one or well, two, we but had, it was all over Facebook. Maybe two people that yeah. commented, although the rest, yeah. there was a huge yeah. audience, yeah. but most of the yeah. videos not to comment. Yeah. So. But we asked for public comment, and that's why we're having a special meeting to gather public comment. Okay, my comment was just I want more people to. Oh, I think to a vote, or like you said, you're putting it in there, the water bill, so. So nothing said yet, yeah. so more people will start to know about this because nothing's firm yet, or no, is it going to be pretty? We have just a draft of okay. events, and that you know we will not be voting for sure on it today. Okay. At all. No. Yeah. Okay. But have you seen this? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's got one. Thank you. This is these are the responses that we got. Uh, from okay. 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 get some of these back from uh, water bills, or was this just this okay. Okay. Well, no, some of the people came in and filled them out. In fact, yeah. some of the one here that was just brought in today. And um, this one said that we had adequate police service, good response time. It was very important to have 24 hour coverage. Uh, they didn't know about the fire department. They had had no interaction. Uh, good time response on the fire department. Adequate dispatch 911. 
and would you support a public safety fee? And they put $15 on this one today. And I have no idea what brought it in because I don't get them. Yeah, no one, yeah, it's not by name, but uh, as you can see, we've, we've been asking for a okay. input to try yeah. to find out how people felt about things and, and what's what's a good way to go, but um, that's 136 to 167 responses uh, for a community that is roughly what? Mm -hmm. 1,500, 2,000, mm -hmm. yeah. somewhere between there. Okay, that, just yeah. a that comment. Is. I'm one of those people who do not use Facebook, and I probably never will. Good, <laughs> exactly. What about perhaps the next one when you have advertise another special thing, put in a, a good old-fashioned written survey that they can just fold up and put oh, back in the envelope yeah. and, and mail it back with your bill. That's because what I was thinking. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people who don't go online and do find your website very, myself, very uh, cumbersome to navigate sometimes. Yeah, it needs some more. We agree with that, too. <laughs> So in essence, uh, you really feel like we need to do a little more explore, exploration and license like to get to see more that. people to respond, and uh, we can give that some more time. I hope I'm wrong in thinking we probably won't get much, but that would be nice to be proven wrong. I often am, actually. <laughs> I mean, frankly, the voting thing, I understand, you know, why you're suggesting that, but if we can't get people to come in and fill these out, what makes us think that they would come in and fill out a ballot here? Because if we were to try and run this, say, in the November ballot, mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what the costs would be yeah, astronomical exactly. for us. I mean, and this, and this, I don't know why, but it's huge. Well, and what was the turnout for our local election we just had? It was 8,000 people in the community. Darwin, do you know what the final? It was less than 50%. Yeah, it was, you know, so is it worth the expense to put it out to vote? Or, you know, I mean. I don't know, I vote, so. We're lucky if we get around 1,000 local votes, and that's high for us. But like I said, They'll care if we put it in and they have to pay mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and sometimes that's a bitter pill to swallow for the, the people who can say, look, yes. you're not you're not funding the police department adequately. This, I mean, do you want police, yes or no? And, and that, that's just the way it is. This is and, the way it is. And the uh, city limits is about a mile and a half that way. <laughs> and part of our other problem is, is that uh, Lakeview is one of the lowest paid departments in the state. Mm -hmm. Trying to get people to apply here for those wages is really hard. Mm -hmm. So if we increase that and be able to get hire another officer, maybe we can get more people to apply. But trying to get people that could be qualified to apply is, is really hard. I have yes. question. Is it is it the policemen, just the town policemen yes. that are doing this? How many is on the force? Four. four. There's four. four. There's yes. four right Which now. Which isn't a lot. Yeah, there's four right mean. now. We have one vacant position. Okay. Oh, you have a vacant, we which you need to... We're, we're trying to fill right now. Okay, so that would be five, then, if you could get that five. filled. Right. But you have still more. Six. One in addition is okay. what we're looking for, is, is a, for a total of six, so we could provide 24 hour a day, seven day a week coverage, with the exception of things like vacations or training or whatever. But for the, the broader spectrum across the year, um, we would be providing 24 hour a day, seven day a week coverage. Um, and we like to, when we can, double, you know, have two cars on uh, to the best of our ability, especially at the nighttime hours, because that's typically when we're dealing with calls of domestics and, and things like that that require more coverage. And the sheriff's office hours, they do, they're do. they a great partner for us, and they cover us a lot and help out in town. As you guys know, you live here, you see them around a lot. Um, they cover us a lot, and but the way their schedule is set up is they have more coverage during the daytime than they do at night. 
And so um, we're pretty uh, behind the curve when it comes to our nighttime coverage and being able to respond to emergencies. So it'd be like two day, two swing, and two. Well, I don't know that we would get there, but there would be overlap, yes. Because we're currently on a five, five day a week, eight hour a day schedule, um, which is what we get our best coverage from. Um, and so we have, like, during Monday through Friday, I'm the day shift car. Mm -hmm. And I work roughly, what, Roberta, 6.30 in the morning until 6 or 7 o'clock at night. Um, and then I have my, uh, my evening car comes on at 5, and then I have a later car that comes on at 7. Um, and he works until 3 a.m. So there's, uh, we do the best we can with, with the cars that we have. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, I'm learning, I've only been here less than two months. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning that there's a, there's a fair amount of calls that we need to have two officers on. Mm -hmm. um, it's unsafe. Um, unfortunately, it's not 1975 anymore. Right. And I can't send guys to, you know, armed conflicts and things like that by themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, I have to take my, my employees' um, health and welfare into account as well. And, you know, we're cops, we get paid to do dangerous things. But we also have to be more rational about it. Our son wants to talk. Is he? In Portland. Oh. <laughs> Which is not good. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're hiring down here. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, well, we did. <laughs> well, and the other thing that happens to us, if we're going to whine a little bit more, um, so we get somebody who's new maybe to law enforcement or who has had a little experience and they want to come to Lakeview. Yes, the salary sucks, but you know, this is their chance. We send them off to school, which is how long? 16 weeks. 16 weeks. So we're paying that person for 16 weeks to get the training that he needs to come back and be a fully-fledged officer. He does that for maybe, what, six months, maybe a year, if, if it's under contract. Well, and then, oh, well, I can get a much better job because now I'm trained and I can go to this other town and they'll pay me more money and I'm trained so I'm a real bargain for them. Uh, thank you very much. Right. Yeah. And so we've invested all this time and money in training somebody and as soon as they get a little experience, they're gone because we can't be competitive in that salary market. And it really does take at least a year to get them through the training and up to where they're, we feel comfortable that they're out on the road by themselves. Yeah. Because it's just, you know, it's one thing day shift, but night shift, uh, you know, so it, I mean, there's more to it than just that training. So the chief and I have talked a lot about that, whether to hire a new person because you are paying basically a salary for a year. So you're looking at, with benefits and everything, probably around $70,000 mm -hmm. between the pay and the benefits, or a little bit less new. So do we want to go that way, or do we want to go with somebody that has the experience, a lateral that wants to move here, or something, you know, because you might pay a little bit more to begin with, but you haven't lost a year of having somebody gone, right. or not able to do their job. So, you know, it, it's, it's weighing everything out. <coughs> More than you wanted to know. <laughs> no, I agree with a lot of what you say. It's just, you know, <laughs> I wish more people would have showed up. And, you know. well, and like Sharon said, that is the problem yes. that we have had. And, and like this, when we had all those people complaining on Facebook, we invited them on numerous times to come to this public meeting. And I think did one come, maybe? I don't even know why the one who complained the most yeah. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, but they won't come to a public meeting. So. They don't have your kind of gumption. <laughs> we appreciate your comments, though. I mean, that's, that's important that we hear from the public. Right. I'm going to be quiet for a while because I'm getting nudged. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quit yeah. nudging there. <laughs> Because these other, we haven't heard from two of you at all. They're the silent majority. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have anything else? Any other items? Anybody have anything else? We'll try again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, then I guess we'll adjourn the meeting at 325. And thank you for coming. Thank you for your comments. It's really important. Thank you. And they were helpful. And your other two go home and